It's all up in the way now Let me get some space now We don't feel a threat Thought I told you I've been coming for your neck This is you won't forget I don't know if that was him, but if it was, GG's ABZ. Friendly target! Friendly target! What's good, YouTube? So y'all probably wondering, how do we speed boost with an assault rifle? And it pretty much comes down to using what I feel like is the most underrated gun right now in the game, which is the Groza. And I ain't gonna lie, at first I thought that the Groza was trash at first, but once I started getting closer to the max of the weapon, then I realized it's a perfect combo for a player that likes using a submachine gun and an AR. And I feel like it's a blend of the two. So you can pretty much be quick with it and still have precision from range with an AR. Even though some submachine guns do have precision from range, I feel like this one really can compete with the Craigs, the AKs, when submachine guns can't really challenge from that far away. So let's go through the loadout that I'm using right now. And I'm starting with the optic, which is the quick dot LED right now. I like to go between this one and the Hawks more. So I feel like either or could work. Usually when you use like a submachine gun, you don't really need an optic. You can go the iron sights, but I don't feel like the iron sights is good on this gun. And it's pretty much a baby FFAR. So just keep that in mind. Only thing that's different between this and the FFAR is the speed's quicker on this to start and the recoil ain't as strong as the FFARs. So the muzzle, I'm using the spent nas right now, which pretty much gives me that vertical control. Cause like I said, it's pretty much a baby FFAR and you don't want that recoil. So that's why I use that for the muzzle. The barrel, I'm using the GRU composite right now cause you want that effective damage range and that increased bullet velocity. I have tried these down here. The Contour is another one that I use to get a little bit more speed, but you do lose firepower on that, so that's why I stay with the co composite. The body, I don't really use anything on it, but this is all preference. I don't really use lasers or anything like that, but for those that like using it, feel free to. And keep in mind, I am running Gunfighter, so that way I get extra attachments on the gun as far as the under barrel goes i use the bruiser grip this is my favorite one because this pretty much complements the speed like i said you want that speed boost so this is the closest you'll get to that and this pretty much gives all the speed increases for the movement sprinting shooting and that aim walking movement speed because you do want to be able to react quick like i mentioned in previous videos so definitely want to keep that in mind as far as the magazine goes, I do the fast mags, which is the last one, the 50 rounds, because you want to have more bullets in the gun, of course. You do lose a little bit of ADS time, but 
don't really feel it too much in game and I feel like you're still able to ADS pretty quick and you get that max ammo capacity with the reload quickness because you want to be able to get away and reload quick and that max starting ammo and the uh, highest ammo capacity so next one after that we're going to the handle which I use the serpent grip because like I said pretty much balance out the loss of ADS sight time from the previous attachments I use the serpent grip to get that increase again for the ADS time the sprint to fire time you don't really feel it that much but it is there so keep that in mind the decrease for that but you still like I said you pretty much don't feel it too much when you're in battle so don't worry about it too much and as far as the stock goes I'm using the KGB pad which is the last one so like I said you got to get closer to maxing this gun to really run it at its full potential and you get an increase in sprint to fire time by 30% and your aim walking movement speed also increases over time the hip fire for this gun it's still good don't sleep even though you get a slight decrease of that hip fire and accuracy so for those that do end up getting the groza keep in mind the groza is only in the battle pass as of right now so for those that have the battle pass try it out let me know how it is for you try the attachments and trust it's a nice blend between the submachine gun and an ar so this is how you'll be able to move around quick like you would with a submachine gun and still shoot from range accurately like an AR and appreciate y'all watching make sure y'all like and subscribe if y'all don't already and I'm gonna see y'all next time